Uh, I'm here in Washington, D.C. on my spring break, uh, spending a lot of time with the Smithsonian. I enjoy World War II history. I'm sending Nathan and his dad back into the vaults to see some not-so-typical wartime artifacts. Cedric Ye is a curator in the Division of Armed Forces History. What we're going to be looking at today is watercolors by Akio Ujihara. Ujihara was a 44-year-old engineer from Los Angeles. He was also one of many Americans detained during World War II, simply because he was of Japanese descent. The chapter of history these watercolors depict is rarely discussed. This is just his personal way of remembering what life was like in the camps. This one is from Manzanar. And these two are from Topaz. After Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor, the US government set up 10 internment camps across the West. They detained over 100,000 Japanese Americans perceived as a threat to the war effort. Half of those detained were children. You know, it really wasn't that long ago. People that were in these camps, some of them are still, are still alive. And so there are many of them. In fact, Nathan is about to meet one. Betty Tyra was only eight when her family was sent into the Heart Mountain internment camp in Wyoming. There were five in our family, an older sister, a younger brother, and my parents. And each of us was allowed to take one suitcase. But um, it was too much for my brother and for me. So from a family of five, we only had three suitcases. Wow. Every family was issued a number. There were six units in a barrack. They were non-insulated buildings. I, it wasn't even this big, but it had a window on one side and a window on the other, one incandescent light. There was no sink, no bathroom, no stove, but it was just a barren room and five cots. Yeah, what kind of food do you uh, well, have? You know, they tried to cook rice, but it was either too soft or yeah. crunchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, lots of pork and beans. It totally was not different. our normal diet. Betty's family spent nearly a year in the camps. I'm so curious, uh, what happened to you? We moved to Washington, D.C. I went to junior high school. High school, I graduated mm -hmm. from the University of Maryland. You know, this war experience spurred many Japanese Americans. They did so much to prove their loyalty. Mm. Uh, they went to school and they have become very successful people in all walks of life. So from that disaster, I think that it spurred us to become even better people. It also spurred us to become a better country. Ultimately, the U.S. government apologized to Japanese-American families for the incarceration. 